Good morning, everyone. Here we go. Okay. Well, it is my great pleasure to introduce you today a profound statement that articulates a call for action from early career researchers worldwide and that also commemorates the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. Again, my name is Hiba Baroud. I'm from Vanderbilt University, also representing the Global Young Academy, where I led uh, the team that developed and revised the statement. You will hear me again uh, speak in the afternoon where I will read the statement. For now, I will give you an overview about the statement and the team that, uh, the groups that participated in it. So the statement is a powerful testament to the critical role of fundamental science in the pursuit of a sustainable future. What this means is that with the pressing global issues that we are facing today, such as climate change and health disparities, the document underscore the cru underscores the crucial importance that fundamental research does in addressing the root causes of these complex issues. It also recognizes the significant contribution of early to mid-career researchers and emphasizes their role in advancing the science that is needed for sustainable development. Unfortunately, despite the paramount and demonstrated importance of fundamental science in safeguarding and sustaining society, there is a concerning decline in the appreciation of and the investment in these fields globally. In fact, a, a recent Global Young Academy report found that researchers worldwide perceive a decline in support for fundamental science, and many have also shifted their research program more towards applied research given the funding trends and priorities. What is equally alarming is the existing inequity with the research sector. Early and mid-career researchers, particularly in low and middle in income nations, uh, are facing significant disadvantages compared to their counterparts in higher income regions. So in response to these challenges, the statement puts forward a series of actionable proposals from supporting fundamental research that are aligned with the sustainable development goals to fostering interdisciplinary collaboration and enhancing the transition from research to implementation and policy making. A lot of great things are happening. A lot of young, great minds are developing cutting-edge research, and without these right instruments, all this novelty and innovation will remain in the lab. So our recommendation in this statement charts a course towards a more inclusive and sustainable research landscape. The statement was first drafted by a, a team of GYA members and went through multiple rounds of revisions that incorporated feedback from national young academies and young associations. I will take a moment to acknowledge the participation of these groups in the statement by first telling you more about the GYA. The vision of the Global Young Academy is science for all, science for the future. And its mission is to give a voice to young scientists around the world. The GYA develops, connects, and mobilizes young talent from six continents and empowers young researchers to lead international, interdisciplinary, and intergenerational dialogue. The GYA has 200 members, comprised of passionate young scientists who are within three to 10 years of their PhD and in the early stages of their independent careers. Members are selected based on their scientific excellence and commitment to engage with society. GYA members engage in working groups, projects, and collaborations with international partners, and this statement is an example of one such initiative that involved 30 other national young academies and associations who worked with us over several months to review and provide feedback on the statement. The statement, which as I mentioned will be read this afternoon, resonates with the collective wisdom and aspirations of young scholars worldwide who are represented by these national young academies and young associations. To conclude, I would like to acknowledge a great team of people that helped make this possible, starting, of course, with the GYA statement team and the GYA executive committee who provided input and feedback on the statement in the early stages and later on. 
I would like to acknowledge the members of the GYA office who helped with the communication and dissemination of the statement. And last but not least, I would like to uh, thank IYBSSD and Luc Almond for not only giving us the space and time to be here and take part of this event, but also to give a voice to early career researchers. Thank you.